over here on JPL looking at 433 Eros there's some videos and stuff of this big asteroid going to collide with the planet on the 31st but I can't find a reason to to be in agreement There we are at the close point into the first, and then we get farther away. So we're already here. I don't see how it's going to do that. It looks like it's far enough away to me that it won't do that. Now this is a little bit of information about it. Oh, it says it's a uh, target of the mission, this mission. The second largest. Well, it must elongated. Estimated dimensions of 20.5 by 8 by 8 miles. Qualifies as one of three with diameters above 6 miles. Discovered in 1898. And then you can scroll down through your information. And read up here the closest approach in the 20th century was in uh, 1975 on January 23rd and that was the point one five AU which is 14 million miles previous close approaches occurred in 01 30 million miles and 19 excuse me 1901 and in 1931 it's 16 million miles. Okay, because it's a repeated close encounters with the planet, it's an important object historically for refining the mass of the Earth-Moon system and the value of the astronomical unit. Eros is no threat to actually hit the Earth, however. Okay, that's what they said. So let's check one more thing. I'll go ahead and open up the Stellarium. And we'll locate it from our planet view. And see where the lion in the night sky. Okay. And there we go. On our Stellarium, we located it from where I'm at in Oklahoma. In the eastern sky, not too high up, barely low. Mars being low on the horizon also. And the distance they provide on Stellarium is 0.174457 and some change. So even on this particular view and data, it's a pretty reasonable coincision with what we looked at up on JPL as far as the AU and the distance from the planet.
So to end this, there's one little odd article that has nothing to do with the asteroid. But some researchers have found cancer in an ancient mummy. It's not a very long article, it's pretty brief to the point. But the uh, professor at the University in Cairo has discovered prostate cancer in a 2200 year old mummy. And his research is indicating that this person that got cancer back then was caused the disease was called by genetics not from his surrounding environment and that's key to understanding cancer according to the researchers and he said he was a man that died in his 40s and it's the second oldest known case of prostate cancer The oldest known case came from a 2700 year old skeleton of a king in Russia. So I've wondered that to myself, especially since I have some nephews that, and a brother that battling cancer. I wonder who the first person ever in the whole world to turn up with it was. Just a little odd article there. Back to Eros. I'm not really seeing anything happening on the 31st. So, I guess I'm going to have to disagree with those other videos. This is not the Earth Cruncher. I'm not going to be the one. So, think what you will. I've showed you what I know and told you what I think beginning of a work week tomorrow. Hope everybody has a fine work week, as good as the work week can be. God bless y'all. I'll speak to you soon. Keep looking up.